meteorologist Caroline Carruthers with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, good morning to you and happy Tuesday. We'll start you out with a look here. This is just gorgeous over Dolphin Island Sea Lab. This is our Eastern Shore Toyota cam. Look how lovely it is. We've got sparkling water. We've got a north wind. It really doesn't get much better than this, especially in June. It is hot, I know, but the humidity has knocked down a little bit, so giving us a little bit of a break. Grand Hotel at Point Clear, thanks to GMC. Looking lovely as always over Mobile Bay. Not a cloud in the sky, a light breeze. Again, a beautiful start. Current temperatures, 70s and 80s, so we are starting to warm up a bit. 82 degrees in Mobile at 78 in Jay, 76 in Chatham, 77 in Monroeville, 79 in Grand Bay, 73 in Gulf Shores. And moving into this afternoon, we'll be within shouting distance of 90, so it is going to be slightly cooler than it was yesterday. Of course, the word cooler is relative because it is still warm and the humidity will be slightly less as well. So overall, a more comfortable day than what we saw yesterday in the wake of that front that moved through. It's just bringing in some of that drier air for us just a little bit, and we will be close to average for this time of year moving into this afternoon. Now, it doesn't last long, so just be sure that you enjoy it because look what happens towards the end of the week. So we are going to head on a steady increase temperature wise. We'll be into the mid 70s by or mid 90s, excuse me, by Thursday. And then look what happens Saturday, 97 mid to upper 90s. And we're going to see that humidity make a comeback too. So yeah, it's going to be toasty out there, especially moving into the end of the week and the weekend. So enjoy today while it lasts. And I do have some good news as well. The dew points stay low, at least through the first half of the week. So through Wednesday and even into Thursday, we'll kind of bounce between the not too bad and the humid category. So definitely improvement better than what we have been seeing. You'll notice it mostly in the mornings where it'll be just a little bit more refreshing. But again, moving towards Friday, Saturday, that temperature goes up and so does that humidity. So just be sure you enjoy this half of the week. The big picture of things shows this front that is currently off to the south here, and that's what that's what moved through yesterday. So that's what brought those scattered showers and storms. That's what's bringing us drier air right now, and it's also bringing us clear skies. So it is going to stay nice today. Radar is clear. We did see some offshore storms this morning, and if that front wiggles just a little bit to the north, we could see a couple of coastal showers. It's about a 10% chance you need that green and Phillips umbrella. Most will stay dry today though. There's just an off chance of one of those baby showers making an appearance south of I-10, but overall most will stay dry. As far as rain chances go over the next several days though, we do see a dramatic change like we do with those temperatures. So as the rain chance increases, so does those temperatures. We stay low through Thursday, some scattered showers and storms Friday, Saturday, and then Father's Day into early next week. It looks like we get a healthy batch of rain moving through, so just keep that in mind. In the tropics, we do have an update for you. There's an area of clouds and low pressure here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Tampa, but don't worry. This is going to move northeastward into the Atlantic across the peninsula of Florida, and it's not likely to develop. It will likely just bring rain to parts of the peninsula of Florida. This is not going to impact our weather over the next seven days here. We are looking at again those temperatures increasing and the rain chances increasing at least moving into the weekend and into early next week. By the time we get to Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms temperatures in the upper 90s. Well, this morning